Engineering Educational Videos Lecture Series Channel on Crash Courses in Electrical Engineering. The first crash course it is in Power System Stability. Module one: Numerical on Transient State Stability and Solution of Swing Equation Step by Step Method. Module two: Steady State Stability Studies. For that basic concept of steady state stability, illustration of concept of steady state stability, steady state stability criteria and synchronizing power coefficient, numerical on steady state stability, construction of Clark's diagram, numerical on Clark's diagram, power angle curves, effect of inertia, derivation of power angle equation for silent pole synchronous generator, effect of saliency and saturation, effect of SCR. and effect of avr wish you all the best for your final exam uh, that uh, we have seen in the previous uh, link continue with that so equating that area a1 is equal to a2 and solving this we obtain the expression for critical clearing angle as 55.8 degree okay come to the next problem that is uh, find a critical clearing angle for the system shown for three phase fault at the point p and generator is delivering one per unit power under pre fault conditions now you observe this carefully the location of the fault now it is occurring at the middle of the transmission line this is very important okay so let us start so pre fault condition the first we have to consider pre fault condition for pre fault condition the total transfer reactance will be the combination of series and the parallel combination of these two reactances again in series with this third one so we obtain the expression x1 as uh, 0.71 and then substituting all the values in the expression pe is equal to we know this ev by x into sin del the value it is 1.69 sin del the operating power angle is given as what 1 is equal to 1.69 sin del 0 what is this expression that is pm initial loading pm 0 is equal to pe 0 is equal to pe pe 1 or p max 1 sin del 0 so that from this we can obtain del 0 as 0.633 radian that's all for the first condition then for second that is during fault now be careful this fault it is occurring at the middle of the transmission line therefore there will be of course certain power transmission during fault also this is not as the same as the previous case where the fault was occurring near to the load not not at the middle of the transmission line therefore for the previous we obtain p2 is equal to 0 so here as it is occurring at the middle of the transmission line the equivalent circuit we can draw like this correct now what we observe uh, these reactances are in all are in series and these series connection makes uh, it if i uh, find out these values what i obtain this is nothing but the delta so uh are you remembering those formulas conversions delta to star and star to delta uh, hope you are remembering so move next that is after converting from delta to star we obtain these values like this uh are you observing this okay now again converting this star to delta using the same conversion formulas what we obtain the equivalent reactance that is required only this transmission line reactance is required for calculating the critical clearing angle and these reactances are not required correct okay now as said here converting delta to star and star to delta we obtain the values as what 2.424 then substituting these values in expression we got the expression 2 as 0.495 sin del then for post fault condition what will be the post fault condition the fault has been cleared so obviously from this diagram what we observe that now this fault has been cleared therefore the total reactances will be the series combination of all these reactances got it series combination of all these reactances so the expression for that 
it is one per unit putting in the generalized expression pe3 we obtain this expression 1.2 sin del then for finding del max the formula we are knowing it is pi minus sin inverse pm by p max 3 we obtain the value as 2.155 radian then using the formula for critical clearing angle the expression that we discussed in our formula sheet slide so here substitute all the values now you are knowing all the values right so substitute all the values if i want in degrees use this formula substituting all the values in this formula we got the expression as what cos del cr is equal to 0.655 and hence the critical clearing angle in degrees will be 49.1 degree then coming to the last problem that is the problem number 3 you can easily read here now the all the values are given here p max 1 p max 2 p max 3 just substitute all the values in the critical clearing angle expression and you will obtain the value as delta cr is equal to 